Ah, uh, there's nothing that screams Happy New Year quite like ruining some older people's holidays. Isn't that right, Nelk? This is an older crowd, this whole cruise. So we're gonna really try to take advantage of the pranks. So in case you didn't know, this channel is called Nelk. And judging by the view numbers, there's a good chance you probably did know who they were. They're kind of like prank invasion meets Jersey Shore. And the videos are just filled with pranks, drinking, and a fuck ton of shagging. Wahey! We got our virgin fan to pump in Miami. Oh, um, uh, well, on second thought, I take everything back that I've said so far. Uh, Nelk, if you are watching, maybe a collab, please? I'm really struggling. But all jokes aside, I do realise why people would watch their videos. They're well shot, they're well edited, and they just show themselves living this almost unachievable life. From expensive cars, to fancy holidays, to hanging out with celebrities, I can get why people would watch this. And for the most part, I'm sure their pranks are harmless, and they're funny to watch, and all of that stuff. But this new video that came up on my recommended was genuinely the hardest video to watch that I have seen in a long time. We got kicked off a cruise. A video in which they quite literally literally go on a cruise with the objective to get kicked off, which also apparently means to ruin the cruise for everybody else as well. This is an older crowd, this whole cruise, so we're gonna really try to take advantage of the pranks. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. What, these older people thought they could get away with being on a cruise? Ah, uh, nah, 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 nah. Not on Nelk's watch. Like, can you imagine these, like, older couples finally getting away, you know, like, getting away from the kids and the annoying grandchildren and all that stuff, you know, we don't need that. Just want a nice weekend away, you know, a nice smooth cruise time to relax and then the fucking Nelk boys show up. Fuck with some people. Just troll them and shit. It's not that lit. If I was on vacation here, I'd be Oh, if I just... Yeah, because you're like 25 years old, mate. Maybe this isn't made for you. Your idea of entertainment is going to somewhere like Magaluf and having a bunch of drinks with the lads and all that stuff, you know, a bunch of shots, having a good time, and that's fair enough. But the people that are on the cruise, we've already said, are a bit older and are probably there to see some entertainment like, I don't know, an Elvis Presley tribute act or something. They're not exactly going to be slamming Jager bombs down, okay? Bobby, don't let her control you, bro. We're on the same boat. This is step one, ready? Everything okay. Right, so as you can see throughout the video, they have this whole like GTA system, you know, got the stars when the security come around and all that stuff, you know, very quirky. The security is on her stuff. We're yeah. starting to notice phase one has been initiated. Phase one? Like, come on, mate. You haven't, like, robbed a bank or anything. A woman told you to turn the camera off and you refused to, all right? But phase one, right, guys? We're on the right tracks. You are going to have the cruise of a lifetime. Yes! The next uh, uh, officer. Oh, this guy fucks. Let's go. Come down, please. Come down. Oh, sorry, Thank sorry. You. Yeah, so, um. You can probably see where this is going, can't you? So they go to this comedy show with the intentions that they're just going to heckle the whole time and try and basically ruin the show for everybody, which is really funny. It's almost even more funny when you realise that the entertainment staff who work on these cruises are probably actually really overworked, underpaid, and away from their families for quite a lengthy period of time. So with everything added together, this is quite frankly, hilarious. Let me finish. Okay, Let where's the black? Finish. Black, black. black. Be kind, be kind. <laughs> Thank you. The last but not least officer on my far right, the hotel director. Uh huh. Oh, that guy's hung. Yeah, that guy's hung like a fucking fish. Hey. You get it? He said he's hung. Like a fish. It's just so uncomfortable, isn't it? It's uncomfortable to watch because it's just not funny. You're ruining everybody else's time. People have probably paid good money. Money that probably is worth a lot more to them than it is to these people because they're extremely rich and they're just sat here ruining it. Like, it's so fucking weird. So, you're having a good time. Uh, no, we gotta go right nuts right here. Man. What do you mean we gotta go nuts here? Why? There's absolutely no reason to go nuts here. Like we said, you're not in Ibiza. You're not with a bunch of people your age who are just wanted to slam shots and go drinking and listen to music and all this stuff, okay? You're on a cruise with just all the people who want to relax. Like the people who are at this show who are trying to watch are probably going to come away from this saying that their night was ruined and it wasn't enjoyable because of you. Is that something to be proud of? Nice suit. Thank you. Taking fashion tips from that. <laughs> uh, I'm ready for the real comedians. Yeah, what if I said, oh, when's God. the real main event coming? Oh, God. Oh, he was so proud of that, wasn't he? God. The way he just leans over to his man, he's like, ah, get this, right? I'm going to say to him, when's the real main event coming? That'll teach him. And then there's all his mates, like, hyping him up as well. Like, it's not funny. How can you find that funny? Because oh, <laughs> COVID. 
What's up? It's COVID. You don't want them touching. Yeah. You the guy heckling? Yeah. 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 So as you can see, it's really just disrupted at this point. Like the comedians can't even finish a punchline without them being disrupted. It's just really, really difficult to watch. And you're so socially unaware, it's ridiculous. What's up? No, you look like about 17. Oh, yeah? You haven't handled your booze yet? That's I'm not gonna be nice like the cruise director. That's a good joke. Right That's a good Slap joke. Right out of here. How are you guys all doing? What's the whole deal with you guys? You're doing all right. We just come to terrible uh, comedy shows just to like- No, I've been here for five minutes. I'll come down there and smack you in the mouth if you don't sure, want to sure. I kind of wish he would. It's my only morning that you're going to get out. This is, I can't be putting up with a happy baby sitting kids. All right. Yeah, talk to your friend that's got the happy dad I'm, shirt on. I'm from, you know, I'm from Compton, man. Well, I don't care where you're from. You're going to be out on the deck in five minutes. Oh, come here, come here. I'm, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it, George Clooney. He's actually, like, sat there, like, actually, like, trying to start a fight with him. He's like, yeah, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. What are you doing, mate? You're on a fucking cruise. You're not getting any brownie points for interrupting the entertainment show on a fucking cruise, okay? That's not like a cool thing to do. Asshole, the captain. Honest question, do you know when the main event's coming? No, she so tried to be funny and it did, it did no, die. I know, I'm being so fucking cringe, isn't it? This is really, really cringe. Like, you see, when I look at their channel, okay, and I can see, like, they go out in Miami and not certain other places for, like, partying and whatnot, I can get them, like, making, like, funny videos there, like, pranks and whatnot. You're with your crowd. But there's a time and a place, and this quite literally isn't the place for it. And the comments, to be fair to everyone, do seem to see this as well. I mean, I'm just looking at the comments right now, and everyone's just saying, it's a hard-to-watch video, it's uncomfortable, you're just ruining people's time for no reason. It's just not a fun video to watch. A long story short, they end up getting kicked off the cruise entirely, and they start like celebrating it as if they just like won the World Cup or something. And even when they get kicked out of this show, they're still being a nuisance to the staff who yet again are probably overworked, underpaid, and are away from their families at days at a time of work. Remember we went to the zoo with the baboon? Your bum's gonna be purple. Sorry. And then just when you thought they might give it a bit of a rest, the next day when they do eventually get kicked off the ship itself, they're still shouting at the people on the ship and telling them that they're on the worst cruise ever. Bye, sweetie. Have fun on the worst cruise ever. Very strange behavior for an adult, it has to be said. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of it. I mean, let me know your thoughts and I think we spoke about it in today's video. I just feel like people gotta know the line a little bit. Like, yeah, you might not be doing anything illegal or anything like that, but you're just ruining people's times for no reason and being a dickhead for no reason. But yeah, either way, if you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And I guess until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, good. Bye.